I'm not gonna lie, Belle finding this mysterious book has really, really intrigued me and I need to know more about it. So we're just gonna dive right on in, hunt her down in the valley and find out what language this book is written in so that we can read it and discover its secrets. Oh, perfect, you're right here. And you're hiding behind the tree. Bella, I've been trying to understand the mysterious book I found in the Dreamlight Library. Okay, good, you've been working on it. It seems to be in some sort of code. Do you think you could help me? Duh. That's why I'm here. Code breaking. Tell me everything. I'm glad you're as interested as I am, but... What's with the but? There's not much to say at the moment. Oh? I've tried all sorts of ways to understand what's written here, but I haven't had any luck. Oh, okay. If only Papa's translation machine had really worked. Wait. He made a translation machine? What's that? Well, my father is an inventor and he designed many marvelous machines. Okay. Uh -huh. He has one project that is just a fantastical idea, but I made sure to keep the plans for it just in case. It's called a translation machine and if it could be made, it would translate text into different languages. Oh my God, we need this immediately. Hmm, you don't suppose we could use some of the magical things here in the valley to create it, do you? Um, we're definitely going to try. I just know we could. That would be wonderful if I could find the designs. I was sure I brought them with me to help remind me of him. Where did you last see him? Hmm, I suppose it has been a while. I found them in the Beast Castle when we met. Papa had visited there before me and must have dropped them. Oh, you mean in your realm? I can get back there to look for you. What am I looking for? They're design pages, a few of them. They might be scattered around the castle after what happened with the books there. Lovely. Great. I'll go check out your realm to find the design pages. I hope we can talk again. All right, so there's three pages that we need to find. So let's pop back over to the Beauty and the Beast realm and see what we can find. Ah, uh, I love this realm. Okay, we're looking for pages. What about this? Nope, that's a story. All right, well, let's check by the library first. Belle spent a lot of time in the library, so let's see if anything sparkles around here. Oh, I found something. There we go, we've got our first design page. So my guess is that they're going to be just laying around somewhere. I don't see anything else in the library, so let's go check the West Wing. Aha, I thought there might be one in here. So we've got two now. You know, let's go check the garden. Oh. Here it is. That's an interesting spot for it. I would have gone right past it. So we just take these back to Belle and hopefully she knows what to do with them. Hey, Belle, I found them. Here you go, all three. They really were scattered all over the place. I'm so glad I can't believe it. You found all the design pages for Papa's invention. Yes, I did. Now I just have to put them together. Okay, good. I was hoping you'd know what to do with them. And there it is. Papa wanted to invent a machine that would read a book, translate it into another language, and then print the translation. Okay. Like a computer. I'm afraid I don't know what that is. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's sort of a thinking machine. Well, I suppose it could be similar. Papa had a lot of ideas for this invention, but it never worked. Well, why don't we take your father's ideas for inspiration, but make something a little more modern? Yeah, because that's like from the 1800s, I want to say, is when her story is set. I know what we need. A motherboard. Wally probably has one. He's kind of a computer after all. He is. What a wonderful thing to learn. I'll ask Wally then. What else do I need? It looks like Papa planned on using softwood glass and something Papa labeled tinkering parts. All right, I have all of that. Oh, I can't believe that Papa's invention might really work. Okay, so we need to gather all the components. Thankfully, I have a bunch of them all ready. So we need to go talk to Wally and get a motherboard. Wally, I found you. Hello. I'm always happy to see you. All that made his day. Directive. I need a motherboard. Do you have such a thing? Hmm. Okay, what's he going to give me today? Ta-da! 
he actually gave me a motherboard. He's learning. Well, you're keeping one with you. Thank you very much. I was half expecting him to give me a bucket or something random like that. All right. We need to now craft the translation machine. So uh, let's head on over to our crafting station and see what we got to do. Now, this is a nifty looking machine. Okay, so in order to do this, you need 30 soft wood, 20 glass, and four tinkering parts, plus the motherboard that we just got from Wally. So, again, me being a hoarder comes in handy. Let's go ahead and whip this up. All right. Now we need to go find Belle again and give her the translation machine. Well, hiya, Belle. Here you go. I crafted it for you. I hope it works. Let's start the translation machine and see what happens. Bella, this is amazing. I never thought Papa's invention could really be built. The translation machine, it's like it's talking to me, asking me questions. What kind of questions? Well, right now it's asking me the name of the bravest horse of them all. Well, let's answer this and see where it goes. Okay. So the bravest horse of them all must be... Oh, it's her horse. So that would be Philippe. You mean my horse? Well, he did come get me to help my father once. That was very brave. And then he showed me where Papa was. That's how I met the beast. Let's see if that's the proper answer. I mean, it would have to be a horse name that her father would know. And that's their horse's name. So, kind of just fits. It worked. It translated a small part of a sentence. Okay. The mysterious book's first two words are, I am. All right, that question was related to me. How can that be? I'm not sure. Maybe the magic here is affecting the machine. And since you're the one using it, that must be it. Let's see what's next. Now it's asking about the perfect time to learn about someone's real identity in a story. I'm going to go with chapter three. The right moment in a book to learn about someone's true identity. Everyone knows it's during chapter three. Well, that is where it happens in my favorite book. I hope it's the right answer. It was right. It printed two more words. Dreamlight Valleys. I am Dreamlight Valleys. Okay. I wonder what comes after that. Is there another question? Yes, and hopefully it's the last one. All right, what's the question? It wants to know which object a major domo would be turned into if under an enchantress's spell. A major domo under an enchantress's spell would turn into... That's Cogsworth, so he would be a clock. That's what I think, too. I hope the translation machine agrees. Okay? That's it. We did it, Bella. It's translating. I can read the entire first sentence. I am Dreamlight Valley's best mystery solver. Oh? Another mystery. I can't wait to read more. Let's let the translation machine work. Thank you for all your help, Bella. I'll tell you as soon as I've read this entire mysterious book. I need to know more. Oh my goodness. This is getting very interesting. Who is the best mystery solver? I mean, it's probably going to be me. But I need to know more. So... If you're just as intrigued as I am, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Because this is going to be a fun fun mystery to solve. Oh my goodness. All right. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and this does not haunt you like it is going to haunt me. I'll see you guys later. Bye.